Hello, I'm Dr. Lonnie Herman and welcome to my video. And what you're going to see in this video may shock you. The research that's out there that I discover, the kind of examinations that I perform with my patients that show me and show the patient the difference of what we can find in this clinical setting of how infections can actually be linked to their heart disease condition, to their arterial disease, to their neurological disease. In this video, I want to share with you the hidden parasitic infections that are linked to heart disease. Let's look at this research paper. This is in January of 2011, Clinical Microbiology and Infection, Volume 17. Pulmonary Vascular Disease Associated with Parasitic Infection, the Role of Schistosomiasis. Schistosomas, these are parasites. We find uh, flukes in people's tissues. We find helminths. We find parasitic infections. And schistosomas are kinds of parasites. If you want to, write this name down, schistosomiasis. Google or you, Yahoo or Bing, search it, whichever search engine you like. Look up that word. Look for the picture. Click on the image and, and, and start to learn a little bit of the possibilities of what are causing your heart condition. Let's read this here. Parasitic diseases have been known to cause pulmonary vascular lesions, stresses, scraping, tearing, stress, harmful, life-threatening lesions. Schistosomiasis is the most common parasitic disease associated with pulmonary arterial hypertension. You're, you, I'm not, uh, listen, I get on my high horse when I make these videos. I've got passion for what I do. I love seeing the, the incredible, the, the clinical results that I get in my practice, the experience that I have with my patients. When they can actually reverse their disease, when they can reverse their heart disease, decrease and even eliminate blood pressure medications. I've seen them go from four or five blood pre pressure medications to one. I've seen people get off of their calcium channel blockers. I've seen them get off their angiotensins. I've seen them get off their arrhythmia medications in my practice. Patients are amazed by this. And what I want to share with you here is that this says here, the most common parasitic disease associated with pulmonary arterial hypertension. Hypertension, high blood pressure. In the medical world, your medical doctor and rightfully so, if they see a blood pressure that's 180 over 110 or something that is life-threatening or 200 over you know, 100 or so, or whatever the numbers are, if your blood pressure is out of control and the blood pressure medication can bring it down instantly, if that acute situation arises and they need to bring down that blood pressure and save your life, we need that kind of care. The problem is when you're being managed, when you're being led down the spiral staircase to blood pressure nowhere results vil if i can put that as a long term when you are led down that path and you are told that taking your blood pressure medication for life is the only option you have and that it's going to slow down if not even prevent you having a heart attack or a stroke you've got to step out of that box and start to listen to the research that's out there and reverse the damage and stop living on the blood pressure medication or at least stop living on all of them that you might be taking. And let's again look at this. The pathology associated with schistosomiasis is mostly attributed to the intense granulomatous inflammation and subsequent fibrosis induced by parasite eggs that become trapped in host organs. Inflammation fibrosis caused by parasitic eggs and parasitic infection. Stress is also seen in the portal hepatic system. That means stress, inflammation, breakdown uh, in the liver, in the blood vessel that goes into the liver. You've got to understand something about your bodies, folks. You've got to understand. Even though you were not born with an owner's manual, it's time to get on board and learn something about your body. Your liver is your blood filter. All of your blood passes through your liver every three minutes. All of it every three minutes. Your blood has to pass through that liver to get a rinse, to get a cleaning, to come out new on the other side. Because clean blood has to go to your tissues, to all of your cells, to all of your tissues, to your bones, to your toes, to your eyes, to your brain. It has to be cleaned. What happens if you have parasitic infections that have never been trapped? that have never been discovered and removed, excuse me, not trapped, but have never been tracked, have never been discovered, have never been removed. Maybe your doctor runs a white blood cell test 
and they say things are a little high or low, but they don't know why. They don't even mention it to some people. People who come into my clinic have a totally different experience because we're able to find if there is parasitic infection in the liver. We're able to find if there's parasitic infection in the heart. We're able to find if there's infections in the blood vessels. We have to be able to remove these stresses because if your liver has parasitic infection, it's causing your heart stress, it's causing your heart to have to pump harder, it's causing your heart to get stressed to the point where you have high blood pressure and you need to take that blood pressure medication to bring it down instantly. But we've got to be able to remedy the situation so you can actually not have to live your life on blood pressure medication. And that is possible. Hear that again. You don't have to live on blood pressure medication all of your life. Find what causes your heart disease. Find what causes your blood pressure and stop treating the heart. Stop treating the blood pressure. Fix it and move on. Here is an uh, x-ray study and you can see this is the lungs here on x-ray. These are the ribs and the lungs and this is heart tissue. Figure one, a chest radiograph of a 52-year-old man with schistosomiasis-associated pulmonary arterial hypertension, resulting in right ventricular hypertrophy and a dilated pulmonary trunk. What do you think is happening here? Do you think there's blood pressure regulation problems? Do you think that the blood pressure medicine will fix this infection that's causing the blood pressure problems? Come on, you've got to step out of the box. If you go and speak to your heart doctor about what you're watching now, they're going to say, I don't know what they're going to say, but all I know is keep taking your blood pressure medication. Here's the prescription. Conclusions. Schistosomiasis is a common cause of uh, uh, excuse me, pulmonary arterial hypertension and a prototypical model for other inflammatory causes of hypertension. The anti-helminth, excuse me, helminthic agent used for the treatment of schistosomiasis, anti-helminth, anti-fluke, uh, anti-parasitic uh, agent was praziquental, but it appears to have little effect on the patients with schistosomiasis associated with pulmonary arterial hypertension after prolonged chronic infection. What they're saying here is, in the studies that were performed on this parasitic infection, the drug that was recommended by Centers for Disease Control and World Health Organization and all the drug companies, this drug did zero. It had zero effect on this parasitic infection. Zero. We have to use better skills. In my practice, I have different skills that can actually find what it takes to eliminate the infection like a parasitic infection. Areas I find parasitic infections connected to, heart, uh, to the heart of patients with heart disease, in the liver, in the pancreas, in the spleen, in the thyroid tonsils, the parotid gland, the bone, the teeth, the kidneys, adrenals, the lungs, the intestines, the parathyroid. I find infections in different parts of the body and those infections can be leading to the heart or maybe they got to the heart first and they're going to the other organ, but you've got to understand we have to eliminate all the infections in all different tissues for you to be able to reverse your heart disease. In another video, I'll be talking about a tooth and other teeth that I have examined with my patients in my clinic, where we have a totally different experience. Our experience is reversing heart disease because we find what causes it. You can see the infection in this tooth right here. There's gray part in a cavity that was already filled. There was infection still in there that was draining to this person's heart. In another video where I go into full length discussion about the various causes of heart disease and what we do in our clinic to reverse it. It's called Hope for Heart Disease. It's a video on YouTube and you need to get your heart in good hands and take care of everything here and reverse your heart disease and decrease if not even eliminate your medications. It's not just cholesterol, folks. You can call my office for a consultation. The number here is 954-370-3100. We have a toll-free number, one 855 270 HOPE, H-O-P-E. I look forward to helping you.